I'm Summer and this is Ryan. This is our Pug Mitzi. Today we're going to show you our 2001 Shasta Freeport. Welcome to our 2001 Shasta Freeport. This is a 29 foot Class C motorhome. We purchased this for $8,800 and we have about $4,000 additionally in it for renovation and repair. It took us about three months total to do this entire renovation. So the first thing we did in here was kind of take out everything. <laughs> um, it had the typical dinette area over here that you'll see in an RV. And with this uh, dinette, it came out to about where I'm standing right here. So um, there was a lot smaller walkway in this area before. I wanted to open it up just to have that open concept so we could have guests over and also so I have a space to do yoga and work out and things like that. So when we took out the dinette, um, the furnace was underneath it. So we had to build a custom couch slash day bed area that you see here to house the furnace. And then we also have a little bit of storage under here. We, I won't lift it up right now since Mincy's on there, but we have a little way to lift that up. And we have storage under there. Um, this is Mincy's absolute favorite spot in the RV. This is where she hangs out all the time. Just looks out the window. She loves it. On this side was a really old couch that we took out and we did lose a little storage from doing that. Um, but because of our work, we're both English as a second language teacher, teachers, um, we needed a good workspace and this is definitely it. Uh, we can work here in the morning. We can also eat our breakfast, look out the window. And this table is movable so we can scoot it over to the middle of the room, put the chairs on the other side, and then we have a place that we can have four or five people over for dinner, which is really nice. We do have like a small little storage thing that we mostly use for work things, um, but just a little additional storage to have here. All of our overhead cabinets are just different storage areas, so we mostly have kitchen things as well as some like medications. Um, cleaning supplies, different things that we keep in each storage compartment. Up front over here is my favorite area of the RV and that's the overhead cab area. This was just a bed area like you see, um, but since we knew we weren't going to use it as a bed, I wanted to do something to utilize all of this space. So we built some custom shelves to hold our record player and all of our records. Then we also made a little herb garden. So we have five different kinds of herbs up here as well as a pepper plant. I hope in about another month we'll have some peppers. We can make some salsa. We have a big white curtain here that just blocks off uh, all of the windows when we're staying anywhere for privacy and light. But also we use this as our projector screen. So we slide this across uh, and then at night when we can set up our projector and watch movies and things like that. We did take out a big uh, bulky cabinet in this corner and just kind of made a little tea area. We drink a lot of tea in the morning, so that's nice to have something set up permanently for all of that. And we'll make our way over to the kitchen over here. 
Uh, we got lucky, we didn't have to change too much in this kitchen. We decided not to take out the countertop. Instead, we just used contact paper to update it. We put a new faucet in. They had already put a new microwave in, which is super nice. And we have like a really nice sized stove and oven. I have had no problems cooking anything in here. We have lots of space for foods. We have this cabinet, which we put a lot of our like snacks and pantry items. And then we have a couple other drawers you'll see around here that we keep food and pots and pans, things like that. We took the cabinet door off of this one here to make an open concept uh, space rack, which I really like. Our fridge, um, we did paint black. It's a good size. We have a freezer. It does the propane, electric, all of that. So definitely a big upgrade on the fridge space. Come back here. This just separates our like bedroom and living room area. And then right here is our bathroom. This is one of our bigger projects that we did in the RV, the bathroom upgrade. I'll um, post the link to the video to see everything we did in here, but I definitely love this bathroom space now. <laughs> uh, Ryan did an awesome job painting the accent wall and it's just like a lot of room for us now to have this big bathroom with all the counter space. Right across from the bathroom is our shower. So our shower is actually in the corner of the bedroom. It's a little different setup. Um, I wasn't sure about it at first, but now that we upgraded it, I love it. It had a bunch of glass panels that we took out and we built this custom cedar wall and used copper for the shower curtain rod. We do have a queen size bed back here, which is super nice. And we have our own closets on each side. So this is my side and Ryan's got his thing over there. So we've got this closet space as well as a little drawer down here. And then another little cabinet up here if I can reach. So plenty of space for all of our clothes. Um, we do have a little smart TV that was originally in the living room. We switched back here. And our bed lifts up for storage as well. I probably do that really quick. Um, this is where we keep all of our shoes and then like hiking gear. So there's quite a bit of storage under there as well. And our fresh water tank is under there, which is a 40 gallon fresh water tank. So that's really nice for when we're wanting to boondock and things. You can see the like little corner shower again, but. This is our tiny home. So this is the RV. It is a Ford Conline 450 V10. It has about 90,000 miles on it. And we have lots of storage space on the outside as well. See this container, keeps the tools, and cleaning supplies. Here's access to our propane tank. Finally, the biggest storage container where we keep a lot of things. It looks messy, but it's perfectly organized. <laughs> Thanks for watching our tour. Be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.